Hey y'all, welcome back to Lisa's Food Addiction. In today's video, guys, we are going to be making a banana pudding cheesecake. This cake, guys, is amazing. It is decadent, it is beautiful, it tastes just like banana pudding. This dessert right here is definitely welcome at any get together. Bring this to your next party and everyone will be asking for seconds. If you are new to Lisa's Food Addiction, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, like this video, and share with all of your family and friends. Let's get cooking, y'all. To get started on this banana pudding cheesecake, we are first going to make our decadent cheesecake. We are going to start off with a mixing bowl and two 8 ounce blocks of cream cheese. Grab a handheld mixer or a stand mixer and we're going to cream this cream cheese together. Once it has become nice and smooth, just like this right here, we are going to sweeten this thing up a bit. We're going to go in with some sugar and we're also going to add in a teaspoon of salt. Continue to mix everything together until it is nice and smooth, just like that right there. Now we are going to go in with two eggs. We're gonna crack these eggs in one at a time and mix them in one at a time just to make sure that everything is combined well. Once we have those eggs in there, now we're going to go in with our sour cream. We're going to mix that up just like we did the eggs, the sugar, and the salt. You wanna keep mixing until everything is combined well. Now we're going to go in with that heavy whipping cream and we're also going to add in a little bit of vanilla extract. The vanilla extract is going to help us out a lot as far as the flavor of this cheesecake and that is what we want. Alright y'all, our cheesecake batter is done. Now we are going to prep our springform cheesecake pan for our cheesecake batter. So what I am going to do is just shape out a piece of parchment paper. Go ahead and add that into your springform pan and we're just going to cover that pan with some aluminum foil and this is going to help our cheesecake cook once we place it inside of the water bath and a water bath guys is just a method of cooking cheesecake so that it does not crack on the top it's going to keep the cheesecake really pretty and nice and smooth now that we have our pan nice and covered, we're just going to spray that parchment paper with a little bit of non-stick spray just to ensure that our cheesecake does not stick to the pan as it is cooking. So we are using a non-stick spring form pan, parchment paper, and non-stick spray. So we have triple insurance that that cheesecake is going to come out in one piece. Our cheesecake batter and our springform pan are ready to go. We're just going to add this into a large pan or what I like to call a large turkey pan and we're going to add in a couple of cups of hot boiling water. This is what will create our water bath and like we said earlier, our water bath will protect our cheesecake from cracking and breaking on top. Place your cheesecake into an oven at 325 degrees. We're just going to bake this for about 40 to 45 minutes. Once our cheesecake is done, remove it from the oven and we're going to let it chill in the freezer for one to two hours. Now it is time to make our banana pudding filling that we will layer in between our buttery banana pudding cake and that delicious cheesecake we just put in the oven. To get started on our filling guys, we're just going to grab our banana pudding cream mix. We're going to follow the box instructions for that and once the pudding is done and cool, we are going to go in with some vanilla extract and some whipped cream or cool whip. Now that our pudding mix, Cool Whip, and vanilla extract are combined, we are going to go in with about a tablespoon of sugar just to make sure our filling is, you know, extra sweet because we want a bomb banana pudding cheesecake. Once our filling is done, we're just going to cover it and we're going to place it into the refrigerator to chill. Now that our filling and our cheesecake are done, we are going to move on to our frosting. Yes, you guys, we will be making homemade frosting for this banana pudding cheesecake. 
We're gonna start our frosting by adding two eight ounce blocks of cream cheese, a couple of sticks of butter, and some powdered sugar. Once you have all of those guys in the bowl, we are just going to mix this until it is nice and creamy. We're also going to go in with a couple of tablespoons of milk, and you just wanna alternate between the milk and the powdered sugar. Once your frosting is nice and light, just like this right here, everything is blended smoothly. We're gonna go in with some whipped cream and some vanilla extract, and we're just gonna to continue to mix this until everything is combined well. And guys, this is a whipped cream cheese frosting, so if you prefer whipped frosting, this is definitely for you. Place that frosting in the fridge along with our filling, and now we're gonna get started on our banana pudding cake. Go ahead and grab your box yellow cake mix. Once we have that in there, we're also gonna go in with our banana cream pudding. Once we have all of those ingredients mixed together well, we are going to go in with some melted butter and we're also going to go in with some milk. Continue to combine all of those ingredients and scrape down your bowl as you go to make sure that everything gets mixed together well. We are going to go in with a little bit of vanilla extract. We're also going to add our eggs into our cake batter. Can't forget about those eggs. Go ahead and crack those eggs in there and continue to mix that cake batter until everything is nice and combined. We're going to sit this cake batter off to the side and we are going to prep two non-stick nine inch cake pans. This is very similar to what we did with our spring form pan, y'all. So we're gonna go ahead and cut out a couple of pieces of parchment paper to fit into our nonstick pans. Once we have those in that pan, we are going to spray it really good with some nonstick spray and it is time to bake these babies off. We are going to stick them in a oven at 350 degrees. Once they are nice and brown like this and they are done, we are going to place them on a cooling rack to cool. We're just gonna flip these cakes out onto our baking sheet and they will begin cooling. If you guys do not have a baking sheet, no worries. You can definitely flip these out onto a plate. That is how my mom always did it. Now that those beautiful cakes are cooling, we're going to prep our cake holder or our cake pan. We're going to go down with some parchment paper just to catch all of those things we don't want to leave on our cake holder when we are done. Now we are going to begin layering and putting together our banana pudding cheesecake. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to add one layer of our banana pudding cake. Once we have that on there, we are going to go over it with our banana pudding filling. Go ahead and spread that out really good. Once we have that banana pudding filling on there, y'all, we're going to go around the perimeters with this whipped cream cheese frosting. Yes, honey. We are going to cover this banana pudding cake in that frosting. Go ahead and spread it out. Now that we have that first layer of filling and frosting done, we are going to grab our cheesecake that we made earlier and we sat in the freezer to chill. And basically guys, it's the same process. We're going to do the same thing right on top of our cheesecake, add our banana pudding filling. Then we're going to go back around the perimeters with the whipped cream cheese frosting. Spread that out really good and we are going to add on our last banana pudding cake. Now that this cake is stacked, honey, we are going to continue to make her look pretty. Go around the edges of this cheesecake. We want the edges of this cheesecake to be snatched, honey, like you're getting ready to go see your man, okay? You want your edges to be laid. Once we have that and nothing less, we are going to move on to begin coating our banana pudding cheesecake. Guys, this is the first coat, also known as the crumb coating of a cake. So what the crumb coating is, you guys, is this happens when you go in with your first layer of frosting, okay? So we're going to go in with the first layer of frosting and we're basically going to coat the cake. This is going to pick up any extra crumbs or any extra pieces of, you know, cheesecake that we may not want in our final layer of frosting. So this step right here is very important as far as presentation now. Don't y'all be out here trying to make this cake all fast and stuff have a little ugly tree monster looking cake now that's that's not what we want you don't want a cake only a mother could love honey that's not what we're trying to do 
To ensure that our cake is nice and laid, we are going to finish that crumb coating. Once we are done with that, we are going to stick this in the freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes. Yes, we're going to put this in the freezer because we do not want our cream cheese frosting to be melting. This is a whipped cream cheese frosting, which means it will melt quickly. We don't want this melting like a face full of makeup on a hot day. That's not what we're trying to do, have our cake dripping in frosting and stuff. We don't want that. Once we have placed our cake in the freezer, we are going to move on to our second coating of whipped cream cheese frosting. Just like this right here, we're going to continue to alternate between coating our cake in frosting, sticking it in the freezer, taking it back out, coating it in more frosting until it is nice and smooth. Just like this right here, once we are done, we are going to begin beautifying our cake, honey, because our cake is ready. She ready. She ready to hit the table with everything else that's on the menu. She ready to impress, okay? To decorate our banana pudding cheesecake, we are going to be using Nella wafers and chessmen butter cookies. I crumbled some of these up and I'm just gonna, you know, freestyle with my cake a little bit. I'm gonna start by adding some cookies around the edges of the banana pudding cheesecake. And if you're a little bit challenged in the cake decorating area, I, Mm. I don't know what to tell you, child. Just try your best, okay? You get an A for effort. After I went around the edges of this cake with the vanilla wafers and the chessmen cookies, I started to feel a little fancy, a little fanciness in my bones. I started to get my Betty Crocker on. I went ahead and pulled out my piping bag and my little piping tip and piped the frosting all around the cheesecake, make it look real pretty. I look so professional doing this, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Praise God. Amen. After I piped that frosting around, I went in with some vanilla wafers and some more of those chessmen cookies. I just went in with a sprinkle more of those crunched up cookies and that is it y'all. This cake is done. I had so much fun decorating this cake. You are going to have so much fun and you're going to be so proud of yourself honey after you get done with this banana pudding cheesecake. Remove that leftover parchment paper, touch her up a little bit, and she is ready. She ready. She ready. She is ready to go to the party, to the cookout, to the function. Whatever you guys decide to take this cake, it will be a showstopper. Everybody will be asking for more, I promise you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys give this recipe a try. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We already made this beautiful banana pudding cheesecake. You already watched this video. It's only one thing left to do and that is hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Like this video, comment, and share with all of your family and friends because they're going to want some of this banana pudding cheesecake too. If you guys want to catch more videos from Lisa's Food Addiction, hit that post notification bell so that you do not miss an upload from this channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.